sound like a fire and steam. Oh yeah. Yeah, now you used to talk with the devil. It seems like sin. From in a hole in a Babylon kingdom. Seek a bit me bread. Never. In a hole in a Babylon kingdom. Seek a bit me bread. What a beautiful sight! The house of labor is back! The family of labor is back! And when labor is back, the future of Antigua and Barbuda is bright. Comrades and friends, I say all the time that politics is about people. Politics is about your ability to pay your bills, to buy your food, to send your children to school. Politics is not about fancy concepts. We went to slavery. We went to colonialism. We have independence. And the UPP is driving us back into history. We shall resist it. We will not accept what the UPP is offered. I stand here tonight, imagine that there are families in Antigua and Barbuda who have to choose between buying food and paying for their electricity. That should never be a choice in Antigua and Barbuda. I stand here tonight with one of my constituents who got an injection at the Mount St. John Hospital and immediately became crippled and the government refused to pay for the examination and the autopsy. They sent the specimens away to be checked. The government refused that ladies in Barnes funeral home for over a year and cannot be buried. I stand here tonight with a government pretending that it has faith in God. In 2004, they had their opening with religious music and singing. And in five years, it was five years of wickedness. In 2009, they did the same thing. Religious singers and preachers after they praise God and they took government, they spend the next five years doing the most wicked thing to the people of Antigua and Barbuda. They come now in 2014 and they're doing the same thing. I am saying we are tired of the wickedness. The Antigua Labour Party will win the next general election. And let me tell you something, I promise you this, we are here to open this beautiful edifice. After election, we are coming back here and we are going to celebrate and we are going to, as all of my colleagues, express our appreciation to you for putting us back in government. Well, let me tell you something quickly. You know something? Just a minute, I have another breaking news here. Yesterday in Parliament, the Prime Minister was called by Boot Stewart. Boot Stewart complained about the, the, the incident up at Granville where the four tourists were held up. And the government did not even show some interest. Yesterday at Parliament, when they adjourned Parliament for 10 minutes and then consulted and then they decided to bring parliament to an end until tomorrow. You know what happened? Ask Baldwin Spencer. All the reporters here tonight. Ask Baldwin Spencer what Boots Stewart told him about the Beaches project. Ask Baldwin Spencer. I am saying to you, it pains me to see how they are destroying Antigua and Barbuda tourism. And I say, 
there is one solution. One solution is for you, the people, to bring an end to what is happening in Antigua and Barbuda. I want to thank you all tonight for staying the course and we look forward to the election. Anytime they call, we are going to win. Good night and may God bless you.